Mark Allen. <laughs> Gentlemen, please welcome the reigning Masters champion. It's the ace in the pack, Judd Trump! <laughs> Trump is uh, from Bristol, which is uh, an hour or so down the motorway. So plenty of local support for him. And here is the uh, photo opportunity before the final gets underway. Best of 19 frames this final. We'll have eight this afternoon. And actually, Mark Allen's very first ranking final was all the way back in 2011. It was the UK Championship, and he played. Judd Trump, Trump won that one 10-8. But this is the first time they've met in a final since then. So 12 years on. Just make sure they're on silent, please. And it is going to be Judd Trump, the Masters champion, that gets this World Grand Prix final. Thank you, Lynn. Gentlemen, the first frame. Judd Trump to break. Referee Brendan Moore, one of the most experienced referees in the game. <coughs> and Trump may have already left a red on down the left-hand side of the table as we look. Depends how much that yellow is in the way. But both of these players play at a brisk pace. Alan preferring this red, it looks like, into the bottom right as we look. An early gauge of how confident he's feeling. Well, he missed that by a long way. 36 years old now, Mark Allen. As I mentioned, he's uh, top of the one-year list, £402,000 prize money this season for Mark Allen, but he's world-ranked number five. But that was a misjudgment. Right. Both players missing early pots. One. The head-to-head -head between these two is uh, pretty even, Stevens. Alan just uh, nudges it, 12-11. Alan beat Trump 4-3 in round four of the British Open this season. Eight. Nine. £100,000 up for grabs for the winner. 40000 to the runner-up.
70. The trophy and the title mean more, of course. Twenty-four. Tricky one along the cushion here. Twenty-five. Mark Allen looking to become only the tenth player to win three ranking titles in one season. Thirty-three. And this already looking like a golden opportunity to put together a big break and seal this first frame. Forty. Did well to get round the back of this red. Made three centuries in this tournament already, Mark Allen. The high break of the tournament so far is uh, Sean Murphy's from last night, 140. Be disappointed. Allen, 48. But that break had to close down. Nice to have a cup of tea on a Sunday. Looks like he's actually using it to warm his hands. It's a cold day here in the UK today. This time it's Judge Trump who misjudges a long part. Judd Trump comes to the table, 48 points down. <coughs> 
and again the pot goes awry and the red has come nicely down the table for Alan to have a go at. So he's not started brilliantly, Judge Trump. of the pot but not enough power to get the white back round those bolt colours and he's surely going to have to just lay up behind the brown here now can't get over the finish line in this frame Mark Allen won. wants to flick off this red and avoid the green. Actually catches it much thicker and goes round the red and green. Nicely weighted. Mark Allen, one of the toughest players to beat now on the tour. You think of John Higgins, Mark Selby. Mark Allen, a great match player, doesn't give anything away easily. Red up by the D now is the problem for Mark Allen. Needs to think very carefully about, about where he leaves the cue ball. This is where I think he's a more formidable opponent than he used to be, just taking a little bit of extra time to think, not doing anything too hasty. Needs the green to come to his rescue. Decided that the taking on the pot at least was 
his only real option. Trump could go for this red at the bottom of that cluster. He'd almost certainly be cannoning into the black. One. <laughs> Nicely done. Avoided the kiss on the black. Six. Wow. The Trump six. I think the use from the crowd said it all. From Mark Allen's body language, that red just to the side of his head is blocking a direct path through to the potting angle. Adds a touch of side. One. Again, not perfect on a colour. This is Mark Allen's 17th ranking final. So far, his record is 50%. He's won eight of them. Eight of the 16 he's played already. Bimble. Taking on this difficult green. No, in fact... Uh, Using it to flick off Mark Allen and play safe, which he's done well. It might look an unusual shot, but again, Mark Allen was just having to keep the cue ball down at this end of the table as we look. Couldn't really afford to see the cue ball roll up into the bulk area because of the two reds over either side's middle pocket. Difficult on this for Trump, though. One. Makes it look easy. And again... He has another opportunity to get back into this frame. The Reds in awkward positions, though. Certainly two of them. This is Judd Trump's 37th ranking Five. final. 
He is now 33 years old. But of those 37 ranking finals, he's won 23 of them. Six. Eleven. Fifteen. So this is the first of the two difficult reds. Sixty. Handled the pot well, but he's <coughs> come too far down the table for the pink. Might have to go for this cut in on the black. Judd Trump, 16. Well, Judd Trump can't believe that black hasn't dropped, but you can see it clips the near cushion first, which is usually always a sign that the ball's not going to go in, but it's hovering there over the pocket. Still 43 points left on the table for Trump, so <laughs> he's got wriggle room. Well, the one thing Trump didn't want to do is leave the red over that side of the table. Because with the black hovering over this bottom pocket, this red should seal the frame for Mark Allen. So 36 points ahead, 35 left on the Eight. table. Mark Allen, eight. And, and the Judd first Trump, point. who needs snookers, decides to concede with himself snookered behind the yellow. And Mark Allen takes the first frame of this World Grand Prix final. World Grab and Prix final, best of 19 frames. Mark Allen won that first frame with a break of 48. Stuttered over the line a bit, but got there in the end.
And you look back at that Masters win for Judd Trump last week. He really battled through the first couple of rounds. Ryan Day in particular had a few opportunities and moments of awful luck against Trump. Otherwise, he would have knocked Trump out in the first round. But then Trump really turned on the style to beat Stuart Bingham 6-1 in the semi. The final was superb, wasn't it, against Mark, Allen, uh, Mark Williams, sorry, 10-8. And he's got a bit of thinking to do here again. I think the Judd Trump of old would have taken this pot on regardless. Let's see what the Judd Trump of today has decided to do. Play safe. <laughs> and play safe incredibly well tap on the table from his opponent. Did well to find a pathway back to bulk. And look at the judgment here. <coughs> One. Well, I don't think he meant that, or perhaps he was taking it on as a shot to nothing, but uh, it's not really given him Mark much Allen advantage. And that's just a little bit loose on the on the attempt at the snooker. He would have been wanting to be right up against that green. But Judd has a tiny little window there, a space that he can possibly swerve around if he wants to. Still a difficult position, though. World rank number four at the moment. Judd Trump, number 10 on the one year list. The Masters not included in that li list. Judd Trump has won this event twice. He won it here in Cheltenham, in actual fact, in 2019 and in Milton Keynes in December of 2020. a bit of pace. Beautiful. <laughs> Couldn't have placed that much better with his hand. quality safety exchange at the moment. The tap on the table there from Mark Allen. Neither player giving an inch. It's best of 19 rather than some of the best of 
nine best of 11 matches we've had in earlier rounds where every frame really, really does count. But at the moment, they're playing this like it is a best of nine clash. <laughs> well, after a safety exchange, to be able to just go up the gears and smash a pot like that in. That's really quite something. Six. The black is currently only free to the bottom right. Seven. I, th I think if it goes back on its spot, it will be potable into both corners. So that's something that Judd will be thinking about. Wow. Judd Trump, seven. I think Mark Judd Trump had, had, had seen that possibility. He, he spent a long time looking at the angle he was going to come off the black and, in, and the red. So he knew there was a chance of an in-off, but uh, for whatever reason, couldn't avoid it. And I think half the crowd who were stood behind Trump saw the black go in, didn't realise the white had gone in as well, hence the applause. But again, an opportunity missed, really, for Trump. When he's needed to, he's pulled out a couple of brilliant pots in the early stages of this final. Six. Seven.
12. I mentioned earlier that Mark Allen looking to become the 10th man to win three ranking titles in a single season. Well, back in the uh, 1920 season, Judd Trump became the first man to win six in a single season. which is pretty good going. Eighteen. The Trump. Eighteen. seen flashes of brilliance, brilliance from Trump, but uh, he hasn't quite got the real momentum going yet. sign there of the match player, the fighter in Mark Allen. bit short. Might have got away with it. Looks like those two reds are blocking each other. Cannot be serious. One. Well, <laughs> oh, the hand of apology from Alan. But this is a this is an outrageous fluke. You couldn't play that one if you tried a hundred times. This black's not, this brown's not easy though. Six. You heard Mark Allen talking in his uh, interview there that we showed just between the frames, talking about how the World Championships is his ultimate goal. Eleven. Needs to mentally and physically be ready for these longer matches from the off at the World Championships. Eleven. 
Swell. I think it's one of the things that makes that World Championships so difficult, so unique, isn't it? That uh, you need to be on form across multiple sessions. Eighty. Ninety. Played that nicely. Having to go for the pink because the, the black is blocked slightly by that red. On the top. Okay. Mark Allen, 90. Okay, Mark Allen missing the pink and then pointing at something in the air. Was it a light or something like that? So this frame by no means over. Mark Allen getting lucky with the fluke a few moments ago, and then you could argue perhaps unlucky with whatever distracted in there. Referee uh, Brendan Moore didn't make any sort of announcement, so I don't think it was a, a phone or a photo or anything like that. Seven. Oh, what a shot that is. <laughs> Controlled the pot with power and then managed to dislodge that red off the cushion. It's a shot that Probably deserves to win a frame. Ah, but he's been unlucky there. Went for the cannon again to dislodge those two. 40. He'll have to think again on how to... Get those two reds apart in a few moments' time. Needs to leave himself an angle on whatever colour he chooses 50. here. Looks like he's going to go for the blue and then try and top spin into those two reds. Better luck this time. Although still not gimmies, either of these. Twenty-three. 
Donald Trump, 23. Well, he gets a round of applause for the 23 break, but the safety shot, not perfect by any means. And you would think Mark Allen may take this on. Sides <laughs> against it. Judd Trump 21 points ahead. 35 left on. And if this red gets much closer to that bottom pocket, it will be another tempter for Mark Allen. Again, play safe, playing cagely, very tough to beat. <laughs> Mark Allen had actually never got beyond the second round in this event before this year. I think he's been here around about six or seven times in this tournament. By far his best performance. Clever shot. He's got the snooker, but also brought the black out into open play a bit more, which he might need later on. Trump could just about see enough of the red. This looks good. <laughs> Great skill from Mark Allen. I think sometimes crowds and viewers can be just as enthralled by this kind of play as they can by pots and big breaks. Escape by Judd Trump again. The respect on show with uh, Mark Allen tapping the table. The 2011 UK Championship final between these two went almost the distance. Trump winning 10 8. <laughs> Feels like it could be a late night tonight.
Thanks. Well, this isn't easy. I mean, it's dead straight, which actually can uh, ratchet up the difficulty sometimes when shots are dead straight. He's up against the cushion as well. But this is a real chance now for Judd Trump. One. Absolute dead aim from the world number four. Just needs this yellow to leave Mark Allen requiring snookers. Six. Eight. Probably needs this green to keep Mark Allen in his chair. Eleven. Fifteen. Oh, it's been tough snooker, hasn't it? It's been really... Solid safety play from both players, not giving an inch. 20. I think we might see an exhibition shot here from Judd. Foul. <laughs> Very low to entertain, Four, five, doesn't he? Good shot. He's not really been able to so play. far. It's been a tense and tricky yeah. match so far. But it is now one frame on. Judd Trump to break. A few spectators still taking their seats, but Judd Trump will carry on regardless. One frame all in this best of 19 final for the World Grand Prix title. And the beautiful trophy that we uh, occasionally get glimpses of. Mark Allen would have been expected, was expected to win the British Open back in October. He got through to the final and played Ryan Day. He was heavy favourite, but ended up losing 10-7 to Ryan Day. So anything can happen. It was uh, Zhao Yulong who uh, Mark Allen beat in the Northern Ireland Open, 9-4. And Ding Junhui, 10-7 in the UK Championship Final. And that's another great piece of judgment from Judd Trump. Measured to perfection and putting Mark Allen in a bit of trouble here. Let's see if he's up to it. Of course he is. Not sure if Trump can get past the green to the red here. I think he can, just about. It's just a question of how he would control the cue ball and get on a colour if he's successful with the pot.
It's always the risk, of course, isn't it, when you take a pot on like that? I mean, the black's gone safe, but Mark Allen can still go red and then pink and see where he ends up. But only if he pots the red. Opportunity to nudge the black out here. Might have been very unlucky here. Has the black blocked the pink through to the middle? He's having a good old look at it. And there was just enough room, wasn't there? So Judd Trump in amongst the balls here. The pink has gone on the black spot. The pink spot blocked by the cluster of reds. Joe Trump's previous World Grand Prix titles. He beat Ali Carter 10-6 in the 2019 final. Then Jack Lazowski, his great mate, 10-7. In 2020, that was in Milton Keynes in December. The defending champions, Ronnie O'Sullivan, he won the last World Grand Prix event, which was actually in December 2021. 50. O'Sullivan beat Neil Robertson in the final. On that occasion in Coventry, 10 8. £100,000 for the winner. And this tournament part of uh, the so-called Players Series. So this was for the top 32 players in the one-year list. There is then the Players Championship in Wolverhampton next month for the top 16. And the final event of the series, the Tour Championship in Hull in March for the top eight players in that one-year list. 22. Now you can see referee Brendan Moore has... Uh, Replace the black as close as it can be to its own spot. So that's 20. put the black right next to the pink as things stand. But it seems as though Trump can pot that black and maybe nudge the pink away at the same time here. Black ball. No 
needs a bit of luck. Looks like he can get one through to the right middle. But that's nicely split the uh, black and pink. Good. It's an opportunity here for Judd Trump to put a big break together. This actually is his highest break of the match so far, 31 and counting. Then, as he left a plant, he has deliberately left a plant on here. He did have other loose reds he could have gone for. 39. Dealt with that very comfortably. And this is what Judd Trump's been waiting for an opportunity to really get the arm 46. going. Some momentum. 47. And play at the pace that he loves to. Fifty-four. Fifty-nine. Six. Well, he's not far from the finishing line now. As you can see there, 75 left on the table. 66. This red and a colour should be enough. 67. Seventy-four. Well, that should be enough, but he would have wanted a kinder couple of cannons there down on this cushion. He'd want another red to be really sure of the frame, but I think he would also want to keep going with this break and put a really high break on the scoreboard. So now he's a bit torn, I think, because... Does he take this on knowing that Mark Allen already needs snookers or does he play safe? Well, it was the mature decision. It wasn't a great shot. 74. but And the front. Mark Allen concedes anyway. So Judd Trump had done enough. Would have wanted a big break, but he'll be delighted to be two frames to one up. So a break of 74. Break of 74 gave Trump the advantage. Mark Allen breaking off two frames to one down. And there will be a mid-session interval after this frame. So 2-2 two -two would be a lot better than 3-1 down for Mark Allen.
one. Joe Trump in the mood now. Not the first good long pot we've seen from him in this match. Good Trump, eight. Now then, I don't think anybody in the arena was expecting Judd Trump to miss that, despite the awkward queuing, of course. One. Mark Allen's eyes will light up at the opportunity presented to him here. That's exactly the split that Mark yes. Allen would have been wanting. Gives him a real foothold here. Two. 
43. Well, this next shot's going to be awkward. Whether he goes for the red into the middle pocket or this one down bottom right. <laughs> Played it at a sensible pace. Didn't want to hit that one too hard. Jabbing down onto the ball. Seven. Still needs a couple of these reds. Fifty eight. His demeanor around the table is very good these days, Mark Allen. Very calm, patient. Mark Allen, 58. But he's left that black go. Shake of the head. There's all of the reaction we see from Mark Allen. But that was a real chance for two frames all going into the interval. Fifty points behind. With 67 left. This would be a great steal for Judd Trump to go in 3 1 at the interval. Just nudge those other two reds apart. Looking to see whether they can both go into that middle left, I think, there. Can the one closest to the pink get by the other red next to it into that middle pocket? We'll see depending on where Judd Trump leaves himself here. He's massively overhit that. Eight. Seemed to bounce off the cushion much more than Judd Trump was expecting. Trump, eight. And he's left that red between the yellow and brown. Mark Allen here, hoping to seal the frame. One. Still has some work to do, but that was a good start. And Jed annoyed with himself for leaving that red hovering there past the yellow.
this time. Six. It's Mark Allen's turn to shake his head. I can't quite tell. I think he. I think he may have actually come further than he wanted there. I think he might have been leaving himself or wanting to leave himself with the shot into the middle, or perhaps he was wanting to come a little bit further back down the table, past the pink, to leave that middle red of the three into the bottom left pocket. But he's uh, betwixt and between. And he's got to think very carefully here because he's 48 points ahead, 51 left on the table. Definitely doesn't want to bring that red by the cushion into play even further. Ideally, wants to leave that where it is. And even in a long match like this, best of 19, you have these moments which can be looked back upon as turning points if you get it wrong. Mark Allen, six. Judge Trump, four. Well, after two minutes of thinking, I think that was the one thing he hadn't factored in. He was so concerned with where he would leave the red that he didn't spot the angle of the white. We've seen a good good few long pots from Judd Trump so far this afternoon. Not great position. He doesn't have much uh, wriggle room here because he's 43 down. Only 41 down now, but two reds in the colours is only 43 left on the table, so he really does need to take these Wait. reds with uh, high value colours. Just Trump. Probably come away with that, come away from that as well as he could have hoped. Mark Allen does only need one of these reds to put Judd Trump requiring a snooker. Might go for the double himself here. This frame on a knife edge now. <laughs> it's a good shot because Mark Allen wouldn't have wanted to 
touch the red near the cushion. Still doesn't really. I mean, I guess you could argue that the red that has now gone right alongside the black is in itself safe. So it, it's kind of replaced the red on the cushion in terms of its safety. Meaning that Alan may well have to go for the one by the cushion. Absolutely did not want to do that. That was worst case scenario for Mark Allen. He definitely needed to keep at least one of those reds safe. And that should have been the one next to the black. In the end, he's, he's actually brought both reds out into play. Freed up the black as well. That was a big error. Judd Trump started walking after that one. Almost as soon as he'd made contact with the cue ball, he knew that he'd missed it. You often see it in golf, don't you? But in golf, players tend to walk after their ball when they know it's in on that occasion. Trump knew that that one was nowhere near. It's tense out there. It is tense out there in the Centaur Arena. Is this the moment for Mark Allen? Yeah. Well, the man from Bristol here, not far from Cheltenham, getting encouragement from his supporters. Can he snatch this frame and go into the interval 3-1? He's approaching that red very straight. Eight. Trump, eight. <laughs> Two. 
Take a look at that table and imagine you're playing this shot yourself. What on earth do you do here? Let alone in a ranking final. With so much glory and money up for grabs. This looks good. This looks very good from Mark Allen. They are blow for blow at the moment, like two boxers slugging it out. And lots of thought and concentration being used up in these early few frames. Good distance on the red. Anything shorter than that, and I think Trump would have been taking the red on into that corner, but the red is nicely tucked up against the cushion. Not sure if he can get through to the red directly or if he's going to have to come off the cushion just up to the top right as we look past the pink. Might even have to swerve. Well, Mark Allen. Now that's a significant foul because it pushes Mark Allen 37 points ahead, as you can see there. 
So Judd, having been snookered, does now need a snooker himself. So it is advantage, Alan. Must be tempting this one, but there was just a little shake of the head from Mark Allen there. So again, I think he's going to take the KG option, the sensible option, you could argue. Took the pot on in the end. Gets the snooker he needs. Interesting option here from Mark Allen coming off the bolt cushion rather than one of the side cushions. Handled that very nicely. Certainly feels like two frames all would be reflective of the contest so far going into the interval. And contest is absolutely the right word. It's been a real tussle. Not quite got hold of that one. Judd Trump wanted to be in, nestling right up against the blue, right behind the blue. And Mark Allen might snaffle this up. There it is. Well, I'm sure Mark Allen will be a little bit relieved. 2-2 Two -two seems to me to be the fair scoreline going into the interval. But both players have had to really work hard for this. Three, and the frame. Mark up. And the frame is conceded. They decide to go into the interval. And it is two frames all. Perfectly poised at the break. Good trump to break. So off we go again in the final of the World Grand Prix. The first session. We will have four more frames now. And then a potential 11 for you this evening. Mark Allen in that UK Championship final was 6-2 down to Ding Junhui after the first session. Came out firing. But he certainly won't want to be 6 2 down against Judd Trump. Be interested to know if Mark Allen went to the practice table or he just went back to his dressing room. But whatever he did seemed to have worked. Unlucky with the position, though. He's going to have to come back up to the bulk end of the table and play safe. Just needed a bit more bounce off the cushion Mark to Allen. end on the black. It's 
worth recapping that this is a final that lots of people would have hoped for when the draw was made. Yes, I think it's difficult to argue with the fact that these two are probably the best two players this season. Mark Allen sits top of the one-year ranking list. Judd Trump coming off the back of the Masters win last week. And certainly the tournament organisers, the tournament sponsors, if you'd said, well, the final could be the UK champion against the Masters champion, I think they absolutely would have gone for that. Wow. Difficult to get those. Long pots into the bolt corners right, but Judd Trump made it look easy. Eight. Lovely touch. Great position here. Sixteen. Just working out where the white's going to finish up here because he's going to take on the one into the middle actually to screw back for the black. 17. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Well, he's been incredibly unlucky there, hasn't he? He's split the reds. As nice as you can imagine. But colour-wise, he's, he's forced to probably take a punt on this green. Or it might be break over. And it's close actually as to whether he can even get to the potting angle of Wrong. the green. And there's your answer. Playing safe off the brown. The Trump, 25. Chad Trump beat uh, Dave Gilbert, Joe O'Connor. 
Sorry, Mark Allen beat Dave Gill, but Joe O'Connor quarterfinal against Jack Lazowski went to a decider. And Allen beat Nopon Seinkam 6-1 in the semi-final. A word about Seinkam, he's had an incredible World Grand Prix, knocked out three former world champions. Trump knocked out Hossein Vafai, Luca Brissell, Zhao Gudong. And then the semi final last night against uh, Sean Murphy was 6 2. Murphy had said that some of Trump's previous opponents had maybe crumbled under the pressure of Trump's reputation and that Sean Murphy himself wouldn't. And Judd Trump had a bit of a dig about that after the match, saying that. Sean Murphy said those things and met, and then missed some easy pots himself. Not for the first time, Mark Allen having to really put his thinking cap on about how to escape a situation like this. <coughs> this really is a, a match in the in the truest sense of the word. Both players evenly matched, but even just the way the frames are going, neither player really getting like a, a run at a frame themselves, something always breaking down, or they're being put into tricky positions by their opponents. It's a mistake again from Judd Trump, but has he got away with it one more time? Nothing easy or obvious there for Mark Allen.
Juan. An important pot for Mark Allen. Eight. Bit straight on the blue. Forty. Eighteen. Ninety. Big chance this for Mark Allen. He's going around quite nicely at the moment. Good tempo. That could be a frame-winning shot, the way he split those reds. 27. It's actually the first frame we've had where the reds are all, are all centralised. No awkward-looking reds on the table there. His highest break of the match so far, only 48, Mark Allen. So he'll be very disappointed if he doesn't beat that at this visit to the table. Probably the first time we've seen Mark Allen in amongst the balls like this at the table for a run of a number of minutes, potting balls, getting the cue action going. 41. We saw Judd Trump have a break of 74 in the third frame. This feels like Mark Allen's equivalent, if you like. Fifty-six. Fifty-seven. Just this blue required to leave Judd Trump leading, needing a snooker. And 
and I think Judd Trump will know that realistically he shouldn't be back at the table in this frame. Sixty-two. Sixty-three. And that will absolutely make sure. So Mark Allen won the first frame of the match. Looks like he's going to win the first frame. Sixty-eight. After the interval as well. 70. 73. This brand will give Mark Allen the highest break of the match so far for either player. 77. This is what both of these 82. players can do if one of them can get out of the safety exchanges. They are both extremely capable of putting quick fire breaks together like this. 88. Pick a pocket. 88. Doesn't matter about that one. And the frame. A break Mark of 88 Allen. gives Mark Allen frame number five, and it moves him ahead by three frames to two against Judd Trump. But plenty of snooker before we get to the Crucible. So Mark Allen, 3-2 up in this World Grand Prix final. 78. Having the season of his life. Left that red tantalizingly towards the middle pocket. Also got this one down bottom right, but Judd Trump going for the one into the center. 6 <coughs> 7 15. Well, it would be very Judd Trump 
to come back immediately after that Mark Allen break of 88 with a big break of his own. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Well, now then. He's unlucky there on a few fronts, of course, missing the blue. And then breaking the pack apart is the worst possible combination. But has he left Mark Allen anything on here? He can just about get through by the looks of it. Significant moment in the match, this. We heard Judd talking about mental strength earlier and uh, he would have been trying not to think about three frames all. But Judd Trump now in his seat, having to face up to the possibility of being 4-2 down. Long way to go for Mark Allen, though, here. The reds are quite nicely spread in the centre there. The pink. Eight can certainly go into the bottom left corner as we look. I think the pink spot is covered by a red Nine. at the moment. So Mark Allen may just keep going with the blacks for a little while. Got the blue handily over the top pocket if he gets into trouble. Screwed back more than he wanted there, the Northern Irishman. Seventy. That's a great shot. Great shot to get the white across and back again, almost in a straight line. Twenty-four. Mark Allen in good shape here to put together another sizable break. Twenty-two. 
25. He took a chance cannoning into those two reds. I'm not sure he needed to do that at that point. But as I said, he always had that blue up in the top corner as an insurance policy. Thirty one. Thirty six. Good Q power. And just as importantly, good cue control as well. Thirty seven. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Fifty-five. Mark Allen, big, big favourite now. To go four-two, if he can sink this red, which he does. 56. Sixty-one. If he clears the colours, interestingly, his break will be 88 again. He had an 88 break to win the last frame. It would be 88 here again.
Mark Allen, 63, and the frame. Not to be in terms of the break, but he has won two frames in a row now. Judd Trump nods in consolation. And Mark Allen leads 4-2. Thank you, frame seven. Judd Trump to break. Healthy crowd in here at the Centaur Arena. Some of them from the southwest, I'm sure, backing Judd Trump, the man from Bristol. But Mark Allen's an incredibly popular player as well. He's been outspoken at times in the past, uh, Mark Allen. Not afraid to say what he thinks and upset a few people. Seems to be a bit calmer, maybe a bit more reserved these days. Here a few uh, shouts have come on Judd there. Just the local crowd, if you like, just trying to raise their man. <laughs> now, does that red pass the black? Because if it does, that could be another costly error from Judd Trump. Yes, it does, is the answer. One. The first four frames before the interval took around. We're just shy of two hours. The two frames since the interval taking a little over 30 Eight. minutes. Nine. And this is where snooker can be such a, a tough game. Judd Trump sat in his seat. Nothing he can do about this, having made the mistake. Mark Allen's just let the cue ball go a little bit there. 60. Made this shot a bit more difficult than it should have been. <laughs> 17. Over that side of the table, it favours the left-hander. Thirty-two. 
33. Confident shot there with the rest. Having second thoughts on which red to go for next. Changes his mind to go for pink rather than black. And he's left himself in a bit of a pickle here now, I think. 39. Especially with the pink back on its spot. But again, just staying calm, staying patient. Could easily have got angry with himself there. Oh, Carl, 39. Inside, he'll be angry. Don't get me wrong. Here again is the mental side of the game. Needs to put that out of his mind, Mark Allen, that really he could and should have won this frame in one visit. Needs to start again, but 39 points to the good. Might be saved here by the fact that the red is just so close to the white. This is a difficult shot if he's taking this on. Now it's going to be a safety. And a good safety it is too. Mark Allen just suggesting to the referee, Brendan Moore, that they should just check the positioning like of the white on the monitor. Good. Fraction more power this time. This is now following the pattern of some of the early frames where both players are just having to concentrate so hard. Desperate not to give away a cheap opportunity. And 
And it's just testing different facets of their game. So close to the red going in. But the white goes in off. And that hands advantage to Mark Allen. It's the first session of the final of the World Grand Prix in Cheltenham, southwest England. And it is the meeting between the UK champion Mark Allen and the Masters champion Judd Trump. And Mark Allen, as you can see, four frames to two up. And he's got a healthy advantage in this frame seven Six. as well. What a season this man is having. Bidding to become the 10th player to win three ranking titles in one season. Seven. He's lost the cue ball again there. Making life a bit tougher for himself. He's got a decision to make here whether to go for the blue or play safe. The way he's lining that up at the bulk end. He's going to play safe. Thank you, Bramble. Oh, Callan, set. So plenty more snooker to be played in this frame. Jeff Trump trying for two tournament wins in two weeks, the Masters champion from just seven days ago. These two actually met in Mark Allen's first ever ranking final back in the 2011 UK Championship showpiece. Trump won that day, 10 frames to eight. And this is the first time they've met each other in a ranking final since then. Before today, Judd Trump has played 36 ranking finals and won 23 of them.
This is the kind of safety back and forth we were seeing a lot of in the first four frames today. Neither player can let their guard down for a moment. Could be a costly mistake from Judd Trump. Mark Allen will take his time over this one. It's a very thin cut if he wants to go for it, but turning it down. Slightly surprised by that. But he does have this 46 point lead to protect. No need to take any unnecessary risks. Is there a plant on here? Oh, how unlucky is that Mark for Judd Trump? The world number four spotting a brilliant plant and then there's no legislation for this is there so that is a bit of good fortune for Mark Allen he can't really make the most of it there's no obvious pots on but just the trump break coming to a premature end Is he in off himself now? Wow. <laughs> the Trump for. Wow. You'd have to say that's careless from Mark Allen. That's going to come off the jaw. A little shake of the head from Mark Allen. So Trump back in this frame. He wasn't what? happy at the way the cue ball bounced off the cushion there. Made the shot on the black even tougher. Good Trump. One. And I think because of that difficult angle, 
He ended up missing that black by quite some distance, straight up off the shot. And he's left Mark Allen with a golden opportunity to seal this frame now. Got a choice of reds he could go for here. Eight. So it does need a red colour and another red. Fifteen. This is a decisive move from Mark Allen. Since the interval, three frames in a row now. Twenty. Twenty one. Twenty eight. Twenty nine. Won't care about that black. All about the scoreline. And Mark Allen. And the Frank. 5 2 up now in this first session of the World Grand Prix final. Looking ominous for Judd Trump all of a sudden. Has just told us this is the last frame of this session before they come back this evening. So will it be 6 2 to this man or 5 3? We shall see. Judd Trump comes to the table in this frame eight. And look at that statistic. That tells its own story. Judd Trump hasn't really had much of a look in since the interval. This is the difference, isn't it, isn't it, between these longer multi-session matches and, and some of the earlier rounds we see in the tournaments where this match would have been over at something like 4-2 or perhaps now at 5-2. But best of 19, you can fall behind but still have a chance of coming back as Mark Allen himself knows, having won the UK Championship in November from 6-1 down against Ding Junhui.
Good shot from Jed Trump. Difficult for Mark Allen to see a path back to Bulk. So difficult to find a path back to Bolt that he doesn't go for that option, leaving the white ball down on the uh, top cushion instead. Judd Trump perhaps feeling like he has to get something going himself here, and taking that difficult red on into the corner. I think earlier on we might have seen him playing safe, but perhaps now 5-2 down, he just feels that it's worth forcing the issue a bit. Another indication there of Mark Allen's supremacy since the interval. And look at that. What? Just look at Judd Trump's head go down a bit there as well. What a fantastic shot from the Northern Irishman. Well worth seeing again. Again, it's first blood to Mark Eight. Allen, giving himself an opportunity here to build a lead. We've not seen either player win a frame in one visit. That would be just what the doctor ordered for Mark Allen. Goes into the pack house's luck. Not brilliant by the looks of it. He kind of got stuck to that that red that the white is right next to now. Watch this, he just gets stuck to that red. So if they were glued together. He's also got a job on his hands here to put the white safe from this position. Mark Allen, 60. Let's see what Judd Trump decides to do here because there are there is certainly one red he could take on into the middle pocket if he still feels like he wants to force things. The safety shot is made more difficult by the red up by the bulk bulk cushion anyway. He's going to go for a safety.
Mark Allen has the luxury of knowing whatever happens, he's going to be ahead coming back this evening. This is delicate. Not for the first time. Judd Trump has put Mark Allen in a position where Allen is having to really spend some time thinking about this. Difficult to find anywhere above the blue as we look that would be safe. So he goes to the pot. He weighed it up, and I think there are certain times in a frame of snooker where really you just think the safety is too difficult to play anyway. I may as well risk a pot. And I guess when you're 5-2 up, those moments are a little bit more clear in your mind with a bit less pressure. And if Mark Allen can get back down Great. towards the black and pink and the cluster of reds that are nicely split, this could be a frame-winning opportunity. Four. Six. Interesting tactics here from Mark Allen. Just staying up at that end of the table and clearing the reds that were up there. Ten. Almost as an insurance for later on in the frame if he needs it. Having cleared the reds there, it means that if he gets into difficulty down at the bottom end of the table as we look, then he can always go back up to bulk and play safe now. So it was worth doing, even though it was only giving him 50. a small reward in terms of points. The bigger picture looks very positive here for Mark Allen. Sixteen. And the reds are arranged like a practice session. Most of them available into both pockets. Six. 
A grimace there from Mark Allen. 22. He's not exactly where he wanted to be. No major problems because there are a couple of other reds he can go for. But just having to rethink. 23. Not been at his best, Judd Trump. He's shown flashes. 30. Mark Allen, 30. And the crowd really trying to lift Judd Trump. I don't think anyone was expecting that from Mark Allen. Watch this again. No excuses there, just gets that plane wrong. Could have been 6-2 and offer a bite, bite to eat before this evening's session. What can Judd Trump do from here? Up into the top pocket, difficult. And if this bounces beyond the black, that could be curtains for Judd Trump in terms of this session. Long way away again, really, relatively speaking. One. And Mark Allen surely won't mess up from here. Eight. Sixteen. Just this red. Seventeen. And the colour will make sure. Twenty-three. And the UK champion, the Northern Ireland Open champion. Bidding to become the World Grand Prix champion as well. 31. This man has got some work to do. Probably before this evening's session, I think he'll get out to the practice table because Judd Trump has been missing pots he wouldn't normally miss. 32. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. Forty-six. Forty-seven.
50. 52. 55. Spoken about what a great 59. match player Mark Allen has become a really tough opponent to take on. And it will require a Herculean effort from 64. Judd Trump to overturn a 6 2 deficit against the Northern Irishman. 11 possible frames Seven. this evening, though. And a break of 77 takes Mark Allen to a 6-2 lead at the end of the afternoon session of this final of the World Grand Prix. He stepped on the gas after the interval. Judd Trump to get us back underway. And needless to say, a fast start to this concluding session is a must for him. Four frames adrift. Mark Allen needs four to lift the title. Trump, of course, appearing in his fourth World Grand Prix final. Having won the previous three, the head-to-head -head couldn't be tighter after 23 meetings. Allen edging it 12 to 11. They played in the British Open earlier this season. Allen winning 4-3 on his way to the final where he lost to Ryan Day. And Judd Trump got the better of Allen earlier this season in the Invitational Champion of Champions. That was... A very convincing win for Trump, 6-1, but he's on the wrong end of it at the moment. Allen has been playing what has become his customary percentage style of snooker, taking his time, not going for the risky pots, playing safe, putting colours safe when required, and it's worked so well for him this season. Why wouldn't he continue in that vein? Well, the primary goal there was to get the cue ball back to Bork, but the attempted pot was miles away. And if he's not left that red, he's very lucky. May have come a little too far to be cut back into the pocket. It's very thin, which means the cue ball will be racing around the table. Looks like a safety. Allen has scored solidly enough in this match so far. Four significant contributions, 58, 88, 63 and 77 to take that all-important final frame of the session. He had missed a red to the left centre with the balls nicely situated for a Judd Trump counter-attack, but Trump immediately missed his own red by a margin into the yellow pocket. He was up off the shot very quickly. He knew he'd made a mess of it and... That was his last shot of the session. Had he won that frame, 5-3, a much more retrievable scenario for Trump as it is now. Not much room to manoeuvre against the player of the season. That said, Mark Allen's two ranking titles so far this season have come from losing positions. He was 4-1 down to Zhou Yulong in the final of the Northern Ireland Open and won eight in a row. And he was 6-1 down, even more precariously placed than Trump is right now, in the final of the UK Championship and won nine of the last ten frames. So recent proof that it's perfectly possible to come back from this deficit. Well, he was looking to get in behind the blue there. Now, that's a mistake, and this is the kind of opportunity that Trump really has to pounce on. Just the one significant break so far today. A 74 to lead 2-1. Oh, 
Oh dear. Well, that's the kind of mistake he's been making today, which certainly was not true of his previous four victories. And that's been the pattern, really. When Mark Allen has made a mistake today, he's not been punished. He's been back at the table almost immediately. It happened in that eighth frame. And it's happened again here in the ninth. Seventeen. This is their second biggest meeting, really, after the UK Championship final encounter way back in 2011 when Judd Trump was able to withstand a great fight back from Allen. Who at one stage trailed 8-3 and got it back to 9-8. Before Trump managed to get over the 24. line, and clearly that's what Trump has got to think about doing now, but that misread at the start of this frame won't have helped his confidence. 25. I thought he looked quite relaxed being reintroduced to the crowd as he walked in, but having been presented with that early chance to do a bit of damage, to miss in the way he did, not good. Of course, both players are guaranteed forty thousand pounds and points for getting this far, and that means that Mark Allen is now nearly three hundred thousand points clear of his nearest rival. Ryan Day at the top of the one-year list. And of course, he'll further embellish that to the tune of another 60,000 if he wins this evening. It's incredible, really. 38. Thirty-nine. No question that Allen is taking a little bit more time this season over his shots. Earlier on today, he was operating around the 28-29 second per shot mark, which is on the pedestrian side for sure, but... <laughs> it seems to be helping 46. his focus, his concentration, his patience has never been better. And even when he's in trouble in matches, he's backed himself to turn things around as he did spectacularly against Ding in particular in the UK final and to a lesser extent against Zhou Yulong in the Northern Ireland Open final this season. Forty-seven. And he's getting himself into a position here where he can extend his lead.
52. Fifty-eight. Fifty-nine. Seventy-five left on the table. I think Alan is just having a look to see. there's any danger of reds going in if he pots the blue here goes into them lost the cue ball a little there but clearly 64. this red goes it's not a gimme but if he gets it he'll only need another color for seven two And 65. in it goes. Well, Judd Trump had the chance. Mark Allen made a mess of an attempted safety, a snooker behind the blue. But Trump missed the red to the right corner. And Mark Allen has punished him with a frame-winning break. And that really has continued the pattern of this match. From 2-1 two two. down, Allen has made the most of Trump's mistakes. Trump has made way too many of them. 73. It's going to take something Herculean now from the Masters champion. Looking 80. a little subdued and no wonder. Alan now with 81. a great opportunity to make his first century of the final. He's made three in the tournament. He's made the equal best of the season, 37, with Judd Trump. 88. No century, but 88 is just 88. as good, really. And it's a frame-winning break to punish Judd Trump's misread early in the frame. Things getting worse for the Masters champ. Allen extending his lead to seven frames to two. He's just three away from the title. And to make matters worse for Trump, it was the result of an error from the Masters champion, missing a short-range red to the right corner. to let Allen in for the break of 88 to extend his lead to five and put him within three of lifting that trophy. I'm sure Trump would have felt at the outset this evening that he needed to win this mini session before the interval 3-1 to have a realistic chance of getting back into contention, which means he's now got to win the next three frames. Otherwise, it's going to be very, very difficult for him. Not the best break off from Allen. This time, Trump has managed to pot the red. And there's a big roar for the home favourite, the Bristolian. Can he find some inspiration? He's going to need to reel off some frames with big breaks, you would think.
Five. Eleven. Twelve. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Forty-three. Forty-four. Fifty-one. Fifty-two. Just the second half century of the day for Judd Trump. But this has got to go right. Oh, he's just managed to float the cue ball past the edge of the cluster for this red. Fifty-nine. On the right-hand side. All of this the result of Mark Allen's break-off and he brought a red back up the table, and this time, 60. Judd Trump is on the cusp of punishing. Still 75 left, so he's going to need another red. Well, he couldn't have hit those any better. He's definitely got one into the centre. 67. And this would leave Mark Allen needing a snooker. Well, he's taken these very well. This is what he would have been looking to do in the first frame. But better late than never. And Mark Allen, even though he's in a very strong position, of course, will be a little irked that he's really gifted this chance to Judd Trump to get his arm going. Only time will tell as to how significant this is going to be whether it's the start of a big fight back or just 76. 
a bump in the road for Allen on his way to the title, but it's given Trump the chance to find some fluency in his game, which has been sadly lacking to this point. It's already his best break of the night, of the day. One thing I think you'll feel he does need to improve if he is to get back into contention is his long potting, which has been quite modest so far 84. today. He's going to have to create chances for himself as well as feed off the ones that Alan gives him if he's to turn this around. But this is a much more encouraging visit. And crucially, he's won it in one hit, and he's done it quickly. And that's what I think he's going to need to do a bit more of. 91. Try and put Mark Allen under some pressure, intimidate him with some quick-fire breaks. <clears throat> 92. But this is much more like the Judd Trump that's got to the final this week and came from behind in the final evening to deny Mark Williams at the Masters a fortnight ago, or rather a week ago. Feels longer than that somehow. 98. Of course, he wants the century. Sean Murphy has the highest break. Of the week so far, the 140 total clearance he made against Trump last night. There's 43 left. So Trump can beat it by Black's one enough. point, but of course he needs blacks with the remaining reds. There's the century, he can now equal the break. 105. Which would give him, as things stand, a share of the £10,000 bonus. 106. His 38th century of the season, which is now the best tally of anyone in the game. One ahead of Mark Allen. And he's now just six away from 900 for his career. They both turned pro in 2005. He's well over 300 centuries clear of Mark Allen. That's a measure of how prolific a break builder Trump is. 180. But this is much more like it from him. 122. Has he left it too late? That's the question. 122. So the black to equal the best break of the week currently held by Sean Murphy. Yeah. Brilliant stuff from Judd Trump. That is a resounding return to form and not a moment too soon. 140 total clearance, but he's still in a lot of trouble here in Cheltenham. Mark Allen leading 7-3. That's got to make Judd Trump feel a whole lot better. 140 total clearance to equal the tournament high break. Frame 11. Judd Trump to break. And give himself a glimmer of hope. He's still four adrift, though, at 7-3. He's got to keep it going. 100. Mark Allen's turn to be punished for a loose shot. The break off. Leaving the red to the right, or rather the left centre pocket for Judd Trump. But he's just been given a reminder that Trump's game is still in good shape. What 
But what a response that is. This time it's Judd Trump who left a red sticking out and Allen has stroked it in beautifully. This is the Nine. problem now for Judd Trump. He's got so little room to maneuver from here with Alan just three frames away. Even the break off has got to be watertight, really. He can't afford to leave Alan opportunities to get in as he did just now. That said, it was a tremendously well cued red from Alan. It's just a question of how many you can make from it. Started the season by making the final of the British Open, where 40. he was ultimately undone by Ryan Day, showing at the end of that match, winning four frames in a row to deny him the title, but he wasn't in any way subdued by that loss of course he was able to retain his northern ireland open title in front of his adoring fans in belfast beating show you long and then the biggest ranking title of his career to date the uk championship which at one stage 15. looked very unlikely when he trailed 6-1 in the first session but like trump he was 6-2 down at the end of it and only lost one more frame to Ding Zhongwei. Yeah, that's a good retrieving pod. It wasn't the easiest black in the world, but he's knocked it in nicely. 22. Twenty-three. Well, at first sight, that could have been a slightly more kindly 30. split. Certainly nothing easy there, if there's anything at all. Count 30. Played in such a way that he wasn't going to be leaving anything for Trump if he missed that red. But of course he would have been nicely on the black had he got it. He did leave the red, and this time, Judd Trump, who missed an easier red than that in the final frame of the first session and didn't get another shot, has knocked it in. So, chance of a counter. And he should be feeling a lot better for his total clearance of 140 just now. Eight. Nine. 
when Mark Allen was able to fight back from a seemingly hopeless 8-3 down in that 2011 UK Championship final they contested. 60. To within one frame at 9-8. He made three centuries. Seven. And that's the kind of snooker that Trump needs to produce now. It's got to be one-visit stuff from here on in. But it already feels like a, a very different session to the one we had 22. this afternoon, which certainly before the interval was fairly pedestrian. 23. A bit on the scrappy side, more to Alan's liking than Trump's. Trump would much rather play an open game, an attacking game, like the one he's producing right now. Twenty-nine. I recall when Judd Trump won his third 36. World Grand Prix title in 2020 against his good friend Jack Lazowski. He was 7-2 up and Lazowski proceeded to win 37. four frames in no time and Judd Trump scored nine points in that quartet of frames. So there's further evidence that these positions, although on the face of it precarious, are retrievable. Trump eventually going on to win that 10-7 and he had to play some outstanding stuff to get over the line after Lazowski came back at him. And he is now the hunter rather than the hunted. Going nicely here. This is a great chance to win back-to-back -back frames. Fifty-one. Fifty-two. Mark Allen thought he'd left things safe in taking the long red on, which he rattled. But Trump slotted in a beautiful long red himself. Fifty-eight. Two more reds to close the gap to three. Fifty-nine. Sixty-five. The pace has picked up dramatically 66. this evening, and that's very much to Judd Trump's liking. Three frames have come and gone in just over half an hour. Two of them to Judd Trump to keep himself in with a shout. And now the frame before the interval becomes huge. Allen wins it. Trump's back where he started at the beginning of the evening for a drift. But if Trump can win it, 7-5, we might yet have a grandstand finish. Crucially, from Trump's point of view, he's queuing much better now. 81. This is much more like it from him. It's not as though he's fallen over the line in these two frames he's won. He's won them convincingly. Mark Allen in first off that excellent long red. 86. Didn't land nicely on a red when he went into the bunch. Miss one to the yellow pocket. Trump didn't miss, and this is the result. 90. And now odds on for back-to-back -back centuries. Ninety-five. 
missed an easy red in the first frame tonight, which... Certainly set him off on the wrong foot, but he's recovered very well since then with two outstanding frames, two centuries in a row to give Mark Allen something to think about and to reduce the gap in the process from 7-2 down to seven frames to four. It was looking highly likely it would be him. Slightly less likely now. Of course, he's still in charge, leading 8-4, 7-4, I should say. But the way in which Trump has won the last two from 7-2 down with back-to-back -back centuries has just perhaps planted a seed of doubt in Alan's mind. This is the last frame before the interval. The final break before the final session to determine who walks away as champion. so close and that could be the difference you never know between seven five and eight four those are the margins at this level you can't believe it's not dropped Trump knows as well as he's played in the last two frames that he really needs this one as well otherwise he's not made any inroads into the full frame deficit from this afternoon Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Mark Allen led by 30 points in the previous frame before running out of prime position, missing the red to the yellow pocket and sitting out second consecutive century from Trump. Thirty-three. So he'll be determined to make the most of this chance after Trump got very close to slotting in the long red into the right corner. You could see his frustration when it rattled and stayed out.
38. Brenda Moore, our referee, putting the pink behind the bunch because there's no room for it, obviously, on its own spot, and there are no other spots available. What a session of snooker this has been. A huge upgrade in terms of the pace and the weight of the brakes from this afternoon. Yes, Alan put in plenty of solid breaks in building that 6-2 lead, but this has been much more fluent stuff this evening. He's aware 53. that Trump has begun to play in the last couple of frames. Mindful of the need to stop him in his tracks before the interval and restore that four-frame cushion. And in the process, put him just two 54. away from the title. Fifty nine. We've only been playing about forty five minutes here since they shook hands again. 60. And Alan getting close to wrapping up this mini session and emerging from it unscathed by sharing it two frames each. Just the red will leave Trump needing a snooker. 67. Sixty-eight, And this is why Judd Trump returned to his chair looking so frustrated because had that red drop for him from long range, these could well have been his. And he would have been right back in it at just 7-5 down as it is. Mark Allen has taken his chance very impressively. 75. This red to make absolutely sure. Seventy-six. Fantastic entertainment for this packed Cheltenham crowd. Judd Trump has played way better tonight, but he hasn't been able to make a dent in that lead of Mark Allen's. He's missed two balls, and both have been punished with frame-winning breaks by Mark Allen. Trump, of course, did exactly the same to Alan 84. in the two frames he won with centuries. The difference is that Alan started the evening with that commanding 6-2 lead, and it's going to take something spectacular now for Alan to see that lead evaporate. Still on course for the third century of the evening. Ninety one. Yes, it was indeed. 
Brilliant shot. 98. Mark Allen showing what a formidable break builder he can be, responding to Judd Trump up and yanty in this session. And reassuming complete control of the final. 106. Third consecutive century. Allen's first of the final. And, of course, if he can clear up here 40. to add salt into Judd Trump's wound and, indeed, Sean Murphy's, it'll be a 1-4-1 one one total clearance. 160. And a new high for the week to put him in pole position for that £10,000 bonus. This has been one of the best mini-sessions of the week. Crowd royally entertained. That's of no consolation to Trump, who's knocked in two tons himself. But still 123. has a huge yeah. task on his hands after the final interval. But what a break this has been. What a response from Allen. He's always had 28. plenty of bottle, Mark Allen. Some players might have been ruffled by Judge Trump's two-century burst. But not this guy. It's just inspired him to produce his best snooker of the final. And this for the new high break of the week. Brilliant. What a session of snooker that was. And the frame. Just over 45 minutes for four frames, three centuries and an 88. And at the end of it all, Mark Allen is still four clear at eight frames to four. Judd Trump to break. Judd Trump, double centurion this evening. Still four adrift then as we break off in frame 13. Of a possible 19, what Trump wouldn't give for a final frame decider right now, but he's got an awful lot of work ahead of him to make that happen. Alan just needs two. Remember, Alan leads the head-to-head -head 12 wins to 11. Beat Trump in the British Open earlier this season, a tournament he made the final of. Trump beat Alan convincingly 6-1 in the Champion of Champions this season. But this is the big one. Missed that red by a margin, and he's left the red. So, an early chance for Trump to continue the fine form he showed in frames two and three this evening. 140 and 108 to give himself a sniff, and, well, had he knocked in that red at the start of the 12th frame, and he got very close, who knows? One. He's got to do it all over again now. But what a different tempo this final has got about it compared with this afternoon. This really is snooker at the highest calibre. Fifteen. Sixteen. Twenty-three. Twenty-four.
so far tonight. It's been one visit snooker, really. Both players punished for 31. the mistakes they've made with frame-winning breaks. Three of them centuries. 32. Were Trump to turn this around and go on to win, he'd be claiming his 24th ranking title to tie Mark Williams in fifth place in the all-time list. If Mark Allen were to win his ninth, he'd be level with 39. John Parrott, former World and UK champion, Peter Ebden, former World and UK champion, and his good mate, 40. Sean Murphy, another... World, UK, and in Murphy's case, Masters champion as well. Into the Reds. Another good strike, but is he out of luck? It'd be very unfortunate not to be on one here. He may be able to see the red into the right corner, but he's going to be very hampered with his queuing because of that red nestling up against the cue ball. Makes what would be a fairly straightforward shot very difficult, even assuming he can get through to the potting angle there. Looks as though he can, but good queuing required here. That's always the problem with a shot like that. It's not just the pot, it's the fact that you lose a tight rein on the cue ball, and sure enough, it's landed in an awkward spot for Trump. 46 in front, but still bags of points there for Allen. If he gets back in. <laughs> and again. Having to concentrate fully on the pot on the blue. And the cue ball has just drifted into no man's land. Mighty close to getting on the red above the black, but not to be. Trump, 51. Tough red. So, a half century this time from Trump. He was a bit unlucky to be hampered in the way he was on that cutback red, and that was where the problem started for him. So, can Allen get back in here? If he could win this frame from 51 down, you'd feel as though the job was almost done. But he's undercut the red. Again, he's had second prize, though. With the way the cue ball has landed, Trump's queuing. Inhibited by the brown. As you can see, this time Trump rescued by the brown, which is covering the potting angle of that red to the left centre.
delicate touch there from Mark Allen to snooker Trump on the red. Big shot coming up here for the Masters champion. And again, he got very close, but not quite close enough. <laughs> so if Alan can knock this in, a chance to get right back in this frame. But he's overcut it. And now a golden chance for Trump to close back to within three. One. There is precedent this season, or rather the end of last season for A 9-4 deficit being overturned. It happened in this player series in the Tour Championship. John Higgins was five up with six to play against Neil Robertson and six. lost. It's hard to imagine Allen losing a lead like that Seven. tonight. So this is surely a must-win frame for Trump, and he's well-placed now to do that. Red in any colour will 14. suffice to leave Alan needing a snooker. Fifteen. And as long as Alan remains two away from the winning line. Trump will believe that this is still possible. Point. He's playing a whole lot better now than he was earlier today. Two centuries, 21. a half century earlier in this frame. And the style of snooker, much more to Trump's liking. It's very open this evening in a way that it wasn't earlier 26. today. A lot of the frames were fairly cagey, awkward. 27. Mark Allen was very much bossing proceedings and dictating terms, but that's not quite been the case this evening. And it's giving 32. Trump the chance, even though it remains 33. a fairly small one of turning this around. That's gone wrong, but 40. he won't be overly concerned. The frame long since won. Although he does love to entertain once the frame is won, particularly in front of what is effectively his home crowd. Judge Trump, 40. And Mark Allen doesn't trouble the scorers in that one. And Judge Trump has pulled one back. Still in trouble, but not out of it. Mark Allen now leading by eight frames to five. Mark Allen. Not for the first time, a red being left in a potable position. This is very similar to the red that Trump missed by a fine margin in the frame before tonight's interval. Can he slot this one in? No, he missed that one by a bigger margin. Now he's trusting to luck. If 
he could get back to within two, then that just puts a bit of pressure on Mark Allen. Trump looking to pot himself out of trouble. Again, got close with this red. At least he's got the cue ball in a reasonably safe spot. a terrific pot One. for Mark Allen. There was a degree of risk involved had he missed it. He might have been leaving one for Trump. Excellent pot. Needs another good one here. Two outstanding pots from Allen. He's never lacked for metal under pressure. And yes, Six. he's still three frames clear, but there is pressure to finish the job from such a strong position. He knows that Trump's now playing well and is in the mood to punish if he does make a mistake. So Seven. it's important that he maintains his high standards to get the job done.
29. This is perhaps where Mark Allen is a little different this season. More than happy to take a bit of extra time over his shot selections. Unhurried, unflustered in the way in which he's been going about things and well, it's paid off handsomely for it. Closing in on a third ranking title of the season already. And when you think of the number of tournaments still to come, two in the Players That's Series, which of course he's well and truly cemented his spot in. Players' Championship, the Tour Championship. Welsh Open still to come this season. Turkish Masters before the big one at the Crucible. And that is a tournament that Mark Allen, you can be sure, will have his sights set on because he has a poor record there. It's got to be said, he'd be the first to tell you that. 35. Just one semi-final appearance in Sheffield, and that was way back in 2009. So he's certainly got unfinished business at the Crucible. And I think he'll 36. feel going there this year that he's better equipped than he's ever been to really do some damage in the meantime he'd love to lift this trophy tonight what do you want his record in this tournament was actually pretty modest before this year. He'd never got further than the round of 16. And he's overcut that red. So, 41 point lead, but still plenty of time for Trump to get back into this frame. A lot for Trump to go at though. Looks like he's going to be left with what he hopes will be a telling safety, or is he going to try and chip this red in? It's very thin. Oh, well played. Well played. And he certainly didn't play as a shot to nothing. And he's managed to get in and out of balk, so. Looks as though he's going to have to disturb the reds to keep the break going. He'll be looking to go into the pack here, I think. Not the contact that he would have liked, but he is on one. Could have been worse. Bye. Six. Well, you can tell the crowd really... Cheering Trump on now. They want to see a momentous fight back here. If he could win this frame from 41 points down, that would definitely get him back into some sort of contention. Thirty. Forty. He's done well there to muscle that red in and therefore get top side of the blue. Makes his next red that much easier than it would have been had he been below the blue. Ninety. Twenty. 
Some of these reds covering one another, so there's still some work to do here for Trump before he can think about getting into a frame-winning position. I was looking to get into 26. the bunch of reds there, caught the pink, but happily for him, landed on one along the top rail, which he potted nicely. 27. Now, does the pink pass the red? It would appear that it does. Quite tight. He's now got all of the reds into the open, and this is now a clear frame-winning chance for Judd Trump. 33. To make this final a whole lot more interesting. 34. Been compelling viewing this evening in terms of the standard produced. Trump played some great stuff, but was only able to share that quartet of frames before the interval. Alan going into meditation mode. Maybe just feeling a little concerned now. Because he can see, as the rest of this capacity Water. crowd can, that Trump is beginning to queue beautifully. Forty-one. Came into this tournament with confidence restored after landing his second Masters title last week. Wasn't able to produce it in the first session today. But he's beginning to flow now for sure. 47. Still work to do, though, to clinch this frame. 48. Fifty four. Fifty five. Looking to get back to within two frames for the first time since he trailed four two this afternoon. Alan having won six on the bounce at one stage, six. including the first of the evening. And at 7-2, with Trump having missed an easy one at the start of that frame, it was looking pretty grim 62. for him. But things are starting to look up now, and Mark Allen knows he's still in a battle here. 65. That's the all-important ball. Mark Allen was in first with 41, overcut a red to the right corner. And Trump has stepped in impressively to punish him. 69. Not quite enough for a third century of the evening, but he won't care about that. He's queuing superbly now. And he'll be beginning to fancy this job. There's still not much room to manoeuvre at eight six down, but Judd Trump is definitely giving himself a chance for what would be an extraordinary fight back from 7 2 adrift. He's now closed the gap to a much more manageable eight frames to six. So Judd Trump on a bit of a roll now, breaking off in frame number 15 of a possible 19. 10, of course, is the target for the title. The trophy and a check for £100,000 and points. Alan has been in Trump's shoes, of course, when they played in the UK final way back in 2011, coming from 8-3 down to 9-8. Yet again, a red is left on 
off the break off, but this time Allen unable to float it in. Got close. Trump, of course, had the final say in that UK final by winning 10 8, but he knows that it can be pretty scary when someone's coming back at you from a big deficit. And he's looking to put the Frighteners under Allen here. If he can close to 8-7, well, the match is back in the balance then. <laughs> Never easy when you've got the extensions on cue and rest, but... Trump's played that nicely because he's got the cue ball once again, top side of the blue. Six. The standard Seven. has been sky high tonight. Three centuries, two eighties, and a 50 break. Frames have flown by. Completely different kind of match now, and it needed to be like this for Trump to have a chance to get back into contention. Allen has been very adept at times this season, even when he's not been playing particularly well, at freezing his opponents out, making life awkward for them, using 30. the safety game, the percentage game to dictate terms. And he was doing that again this afternoon and building a 6-2 lead, but it's not been that kind of match tonight. It's been free-flowing, it's been breaks all the way, very little safety. And that has been very much to this man's liking. It's allowed him to relocate his A game. 21. 22. Trump looking for his first ranking title since the Turkish Masters last season when he beat Matt Selt. Been in three ranking quarterfinals this season. Before 29. this week here in Cheltenham. But crucially, his success at the Masters, which was hard-earned and seemed unlikely in the first couple of rounds when he was really struggling to get through, has restored the old confidence. Thanks. That's not ideal, though. Hampered with his queuing. Judd Trump was down at 80% with his pot percentage this afternoon, which was never going to be anywhere near good enough against Mark Allen, but that has risen dramatically this evening, but he's missed Judd that Trump straight red. 37. So that's a let-off for Mark Allen. 37 the lead for Trump. Just pushing it to the far jaw. He's not missed much tonight. That one's gone astray.
Paul, the miss. Paul Callum. Alan can obviously have Trump put back in here, and that's what's going to happen. Just weighed up whether he was even remotely interested in one of those reds, but he wasn't. This time, Trump was able to just brush the red. But can Alan knock this red in? He's going for the center pocket, I think. He could. He didn't want the cannon on the green. Oh. But he's still on the yellow, and if he can knock this in, he could be in for a counter-attack. Three. No joy. Didn't pop the yellow cleanly and has lost position. Mark Allen. We've talked for most of this season about the way Mark Allen has remodelled his game to become a little more cautious in his approach, but he's been looking to attack himself this evening. But in opening up the Reds, he might now have to sit out the frame if Trump can capitalise off that excellent long red. He's not nicely, however, on the brown. Excellent pot. Looks like the snooker. Should Trump won. And he's just about got it, I think. Now, how valuable is that good long pot going to be? On the face of it, just one point. But if he has got the snooker here, then he's got Mark Allen with something to think about. The red's open, which Allen did just now in playing safe. Already 31 behind in this frame, so can't afford to leave Trump a red to go at after this shot. Well, Judd Trump has nothing easy here. But he's one good pot away from having an opportunity to close to just one frame behind. He's got the red and he's on the green. Terrific pop from Trump. 
That really had to go. Very difficult. Acute angle into a blind pocket. Oh, where's the cue ball? Oh, goodness. Oh. Would you one. believe it? Mark Callum. Couldn't really legislate for that happening. That's just unlucky. But there's still pressure here on Mark Allen to knock this in. If he can get it, it's a chance to go three up with four to play. If he misses it, his lead might well be cut to one. Yeah, those pots are a little bit harder now than they were when he was leading 7-2. Feeling the pressure of Judd Trump's resurgence tonight. He'd normally have sunk that red, but these aren't no normal circumstances. There's a title on the line. He's still two frames away. Now Trump has this red to get back in. There's no doubt that these corner pockets have been playing on the difficult side all week. Pretty unforgiving. Sometimes they're more accepting on other tables and other tournaments. At least from Trump's point of view, he didn't leave a red, having missed that one. So this frame still very much in the balance. 28 Trump's lead, but there's nothing safe. There's nothing safe. Absolutely critical frame underway here. If Trump wins it, he's got a very realistic chance of going on to win the title. If he loses it, he's got to win four in a row, and that will be a very tough assignment.
don't think he's convinced that he can get to the thin edge of that red. And it's leaving things safe. That's the tricky thing for Trump here. There's no easy route back to Bork from where he is. He had no choice but to pot his way out of trouble, and boy, did he ever there. What a pot he's produced. That might be the pot of the week, given the circumstances and the state of this final. That absolutely had to go in, and he's nailed it right in the centre, and what a chance now to close to within one frame. And if he does go on to lift the trophy tonight, he'll look back on that red as one of the key moments. Six. Brilliant pot from Trump. Seven. Thirteen. Suddenly, Judd Trump is looking the stronger player out there. Mark Allen hasn't done much wrong. In fact, he's played some really good stuff himself this evening, not least that 1-4-1 total clearance, the new tournament high break. But Trump is hunting him down here. 47 the difference. So 90. this red and the pink will be sufficient. 20. For his fifth frame of the evening of the seven played. <laughs> the blue just as good as the pink. 25. 26. When he missed the easy red in the first frame of the evening to let Mark Allen in for a break of 88, it was looking close to over for Trump at 7-2 down. But what a performance he's produced 30. since then to get himself right back in contention. And... 34. And what a red it was that he potted from long range when he could see no safety that has set Thank up you. this chance to clinch the frame. Oh. How about that for a pot? And position. Fault. He's really responding to the support he's getting from his home crowd here. Good 40. Just 40, but what a break of 40 it was. Launched by that magnificent red under extreme pressure. And now it's Mark Allen feeling it. Because having had a five-frame cushion, his lead is now just one. He leads. Eight frames to seven. So went frame for the red 60. and got it and won the frame from it. Eight, seven. Mark Allen with Judd Trump well and truly breathing down his neck now. Just one in front. What a finale we have in store. Possible four frames still to play. And the quality of the snooker this evening has been outstanding. They've both raised their game from this afternoon. Trump in particular looks a completely different player now.
Juan. This is something of an unfamiliar situation for Mark Allen this season. In the two ranking titles he's won, he's had to come from behind himself. And he's definitely feeling it. Those were going in earlier today. Mark Allen won. And this is what happens when your opponent starts to play well every shot that you take on carries that bit of extra pressure in the knowledge that if you do miss, chances are you're going to be punished. One. So, Trump back at the table with some sort of chance in his bid to level this final up, which would be incredible, really given the way the evening started for him. Mark Allen's turn to look a little flushed. Six. Seven. Thirty one. That's gone wrong for Trump positionally. Is he just going to dribble in behind the yellow? Shake of the head, disappointed that he couldn't continue the break as he looks to tie this up at eight each, make it a best of three. Good Trump. Thank you. Nevertheless, a useful 30-point lead, and he's got Mark Allen very much under the cosh at the moment. Alan has always been known for his bottle, as they call it, his nerve under pressure. He's going to need all of that now because he's being asked a lot of questions by Trump, which he wasn't being in the first session or indeed in the opening frame tonight. But Trump is playing some of the best snooker that he's produced for a long time. And I include the Masters last week when for a lot of the matches he wasn't all that convincing. <laughs> I think the way he's played this evening is as good as anything he's produced since he was the dominant player on the tour, winning 11 ranking titles in two seasons.
Paulo, não é assim? foul and a miss but obviously Trump has this red to the right corner at the moment the blacks out of commission and some work to do to get onto a color from here surely not just graze the jaw he would have been a bit concerned have another in off there He's looking the stronger player now, Trump. He's got all the momentum. He's won five of the seven frames tonight. And he's won them very impressively. That's been the key, really. It's not just the fact that he's been winning frames. It's the manner in which he's won them. Trump sizing up a possible plant here, and there are a few better in the game at executing them than him. Certainly not straightforward, as you can see. There's pretty large gaps between those three reds. Six. You can see that Trump is extremely tempted by this plant, but inevitably it carries some risk if he doesn't get it. Big moment in this frame. Now trusting to luck. Where's this red going to end up? Possibly in. Wow. Amazing. Seven. I'm not sure that's the adjective that Mark Allen will be using. Well, it was worth the wait for Trump. Goodness me, what a fluke. Oh. Tends to be the way, though, when you start to play as well as Trump has tonight. You get the luck to go with it. Mark Allen unmoved. But surely now concerned about his lead evaporating entirely. Twelve. as though the red will pass the brown, but the one below the pink and to the left of it will. Thirteen.
It's a gilt edge chance now for Trump to tie this match up. And who would have believed that when Alan won the first Thanks. of the evening to lead 7-2? Sixty seven left, fifty four the lead. So he only needs this black and one more red. Twenty seven. leave Mark Allen requiring a snooker 28 those cheeks have got a little rosier as the evening has gone on Yes, Judd Trump benefited from the fluke, and that was obviously very important, but he has 33. played superbly tonight. This has been the comeback of a champion. 34. Left himself an awful lot to do after this afternoon session, even more so when he missed a short-range red at the start of tonight's concluding session, which cost him the frame, but how well has he played since then? 39. And what a finale we're now in for. 40. Forty-seven. It was Mark Allen who came roaring back against Ding Junhui in the final of the UK Championship from 6-1 down. Only lost one more frame after that. Won nine out of ten. And now the boot's on the other foot. 53. 54. And it's Trump who's got all the momentum here. 58. A break of 58 from Judd Trump right. completes a stirring comeback from 7-2 down. He has tied this World Grand Prix final up at eight frames all. There are three to go. That is the World Grand Prix trophy they're playing for, along with a cheque, of course, for £100,000. And has Judd Trump now become the favourite, given the way in which he's fought his way back from a very precarious 7-2 deficit? What has Mark Allen got left from here? Bidding to become just the 10th player in snooker history to win three ranking titles or more in a single season. And this is fourth final of the season. Twenty-fourth meeting, Mark Allen leading head to head coming into this final twelve to eleven. They've both beaten the other this season. But this by far and away 
their biggest meeting and their most significant since the UK Championship final 12 years ago, which Trump won 10-8 after Mark Allen had trailed 8-3. Safety from Allen, who must feel a little shell-shocked by this stirring fight back from his opponent. One thing's for certain, whatever happens from here on in, the crowd here in Cheltenham have been royally entertained tonight. What a session of snooker it's been. Remember, Mark Allen made the tournament high break in between all of the fireworks from Trump, 141. A miss. Good trump ball. Second is a miss. Alan yeah. just feathering the cue ball yeah, there, I know. think. <laughs> so he'll just play the shot again. Just feathered the cue ball, didn't reach the red. <coughs> One of the keys to this session, I think, is that snooker has been incredibly open in terms of the fluency of the frames, all of the big breaks that have been flying in Mark Allen, for a lot of this season, has been able to dictate terms by making things awkward for his opponent. He hasn't been able to do that tonight. In fact, he's played an open attacking game himself. But so far, he's come out on the wrong side of it. From 6-2 and then 7-2 up. To find himself with his lead having completely disappeared. capable these days of playing a tough safety game when required, Judd Trump. You can't win 11 ranking titles in two seasons without having a brilliant all-round game.
Alan. This is tough for Alan. He's been shut out for quite a lot of this evening's play since he made that 1-4-1 one one break. Seemed as though he'd weathered Trump's little storm, Trump having made back-to-back -back centuries, but only able to share the first four frames of the evening. But, of course, since then, it's been all Trump, four on the bounce. And Alan seemingly out of ideas here as to how to leave things in a safe place. It's not as though he's got a red he can go for in the way that Trump did on his way to closing the gap to 8-7. That brilliant cutback red into the right corner when he was in trouble. Well, he's done very well there. It was worth the wait. He was in a lot of bother there, Mark Allen. He was concerned about leaving a red into the left corner. But he's managed to get a thin enough contact on that red to get it back towards Bork at least. Trump looking to see if there's any way he can get through to that red and the potting angle. Looks as though he may be able to. It's a tough pot and certainly would carry plenty of risk if he took it on. But the mood he's in and he's been attacking all evening, which is what he had to do to have any chance of getting back into this. He fancies the job, or does he? <laughs> Having worked so hard to restore parity, he doesn't want to hand Mark Allen a chance. So something of a lull in proceedings after the fireworks of Judd Trump's comeback at the start of this 17th frame. And that's probably to Mark Allen's benefit, just taking the sting out of things a bit here with a bit of safety for once this evening. Been precious little of it.
He's found the pot. One. Not a lot of position to go with it. But the main thing for Trump is that the red's gone in. Can he knock this blue in? No, he's just undercut it. Good Trump. One. So, Mark Allen's waited a long time for a presentable chance. The black at the moment is out of commission. There's confirmation, nearly half an hour since he sunk one. His 7-2 lead, which was beginning to look something akin to unassailable, wiped out. That looks extremely tight. In fact, too tight. He's got this red to the right center. What? So this is an opportunity now for Alan to just restore a bit of equilibrium. He's had a bit of a battering since he led 8-4. But as we've said already this evening, he is possessed of a very strong mind. He's proved that time and time again this season. Overturning deficits of his own to win his two Seven. ranking titles and now looking to fend off this furious fight back from Trump. Eight. Forty. Fifteen. The pink goes astray. Mark Allen. Well, that was Mark 15. Allen's opportunity to get himself back in stroke but it's ended much earlier than he wanted it to the pink eludes him now what can Judd Trump do obviously the black remains completely out of commission for the time being one and it's going to take a good pop from here to keep the break going
Good trump. Missed that one by quite a margin. It wasn't easy queuing from close to the side cushion. So Mark Allen, Smith Pink, not expensive. Another chance. Inevitably now, of course, the pressure is cranked up on both of these players. With the winning line well and truly in sight for both. Mark Allen, I guess, carries the extra pressure right now of having oh. been in such a strong position and having seen his grip on this match well and truly loosened would be a tough loss to take from 7-2 up if Trump Fine. were to come back to win, but all of that's theoretical at the moment. He's at the table with a chance to go one up with two to play. Ninety. Mark Allen had scored just 53 points since making that tournament high, 141 total clearance to lead 8-4. In seeing Trump win four on the bounce. Twenty-five. Vital for his own confidence that he made his mark in this frame and so far so good. Twenty-six. Still 67 on the table. The lead now 41, so... 32. He is going to need at least one of those remaining more awkward reds. A 
The pink with one more red would be enough to leave Trump needing a snooker. <laughs> He's played it well. 36. So this red and that pink to put him 52 in front with 51 left. Thirty-seven, and he couldn't have played that any better. <laughs> so Judd Trump is surely going to need a snooker. Just the one. I'm sure if you'd offered Trump a nine-eight deficit when he trailed seven-two, he'd have bitten your hand off. So even if Allen wins this frame, Trump's still very much in with a shout. But for Mark Allen, it was very important to halt Trump's increasingly irresistible momentum in this match. Four straight frames. This session has been extremely easy on the eye. Forty-three. And this frame isn't over yet. Just that one snooker Trump is going to need. Mark Allen, 43. But a very important contribution of 43 from Mark Allen, which, barring that snooker, has put him within a frame of the title. Another good shot from Trump. Alan snookered again. It's not that difficult to hit one, though. With the reds on the top cushion, that's quite a target for him. Oh, he only just caught it, though. Wow. Just shaved the edge. It was nearly frame back on there. Trump will still have hopes of getting the snooker he needs. Green and the brown providing a useful shield. Just overcooked that one. Trump's not going away without a fight in this frame. Still needs the one snooker. This is by a distance the longest frame 
of the evening so far. Alan won't care a jot about that as long as he gets it won. It's not really helped Judd Trump's cause at all in knocking that in. He's now 51 behind with only 43 remaining, so he's going to need two snookers, it would seem, for sure. A good part. <coughs> so he now needs one right. snooker to tie the frame. Good Trump. Five. So a chance for Mark Allen to kill this frame off for sure. If he can pot this red, it should be over. Overcut it. Still a bit of pain to endure before he gets it won. John Trump still needing one snooker. Blacks with the remaining two reds and all the colours to tie the frame. One. Eight. Good from eight. Looking to get tight in behind the pink, but he's overcooked it. Didn't want the cannon on the brown, though. So there's still some life in this frame. It's still just the one snooker. To give Trump the chance to turn it around. Opting one. to take the opportunity to pot the black with the final red. And then banking on getting the four-point snooker he would need to force a respot. Eight.
Judge Trump, eight. Yeah, that's not a bad snooker because the yellow is out in the open, which means it's that much trickier to hit. It's always the chance of slipping past the edges. Mark Allen has avoided that eventuality, however. Great shot, great shot. That's changed things just a little. Need back Allen to hit this off one cushion, but Trump keeping the pressure on. Now, is there any possibility of getting in behind the pink here? First real safety play we've seen in this deciding session. It's been all about the breaks up until the last 10 minutes or so. Trump fighting to get the snooker he needs. Mark Allen remains firm favourite to go one up with two to play, but clearly this match is anyone's at this stage. Even if Allen does win this frame, Trump will still fancy his chances. And they looked very slim when he was 7-2 down after one frame this evening. It's been quite a fight back. Allen looking to take control of this exchange, and he's done it with a really good safety, and that's where you want to have your opponent when they're chasing snookers. Keep them on the back foot. And that's surely the Mark end of the Allen frame. Seven and the frame. Judd Trump concedes, so Mark Allen stops the rot after a four-frame burst from his opponent and puts himself on the cusp of the World Grand Prix title. He needs one. Judd Trump needs the remaining two. Mark Allen leading. Nine frames to eight. And he's one frame away from making it happen. Frame 18 of a possible 19.
so-called dump shot, leaving the cue ball on the top rail. Definite echoes of that 2011 UK final, of course, when it was Trump who led 8-3. Fought back to 9-8, or rather, Allen fought back to 9-8, only for Trump to deny him in the penultimate frame, and Allen will be hoping to do the same here. Well, that's a very attacking safety from Trump, but how safe is it? He's got the Reds well and truly open. And it's been that attacking intent that he's shown tonight that has got him back in the hunt in this World Grand Prix final. Couldn't afford to get bogged down this evening if he was going to have any hope of overturning the four-frame deficit. But here's half a chance for Allen to get back in. No, he's overcut the red. So, Judd Trump has an opportunity. Is he now going to be rewarded for opening the reds? That was never in. It's not an easy starter for Trump. Can't get to the red to the left centre, and he's on the stretch for this one. Plenty of pressure on this. Oh, terrific. terrific pot. It really is. It had to go. One. Otherwise, it might have been his last shot of the tournament. And it was right in the middle. A little short on the blue, but he's got the angle to go in and out of Bork, and he's never afraid of doing that.
Played a really attacking safety 50. at the start of this frame. Didn't get the cue ball as far back down the table as he intended, but Mark Allen crucially missed the red from mid-range into the left corner to give Trump this chance to force 60. a decider, and that would be some achievement from where he was earlier this evening when he trailed 7-2. Certainly what the lion's share of this big Cheltenham crowd want to see. Trump, of course, hails from Bristol. 22. Twenty-three. You can hear a pin drop out there at the moment as Trump goes about the business of trying to take this match to a 19th and deciding 29. frame. And what a match it's been, what a final it's turned 30. into one stage it was looking like it could be a very one-sided affair. Trump was out of sorts in the first session. Mark Allen was in complete control. But all of that has 36. changed. Thirty-seven. This time he has got top side of the blue. Forty-two. Forty-three. May already be stealing himself for a deciding frame. And at the same time, making sure his concentration is intact in case Trump lets him back in here. But it's looking increasingly 49. unlikely that he will. Fifty six, fifty seven. Trump this evening has made breaks of one hundred and forty, one hundred and eight. 51, 87, 58, and now this. Having made just one half century in the first eight frames. 63. And this should be enough. 64. To take this match all the way. What a performance it's been. Whatever happens in the decider from Judd Trump to fight back as he has the mark of a champion only 59 left so already Mark Allen needs 69. three snookers so if this reg goes in we're surely going to a 19th frame and who would have believed that Seven. after the first of the evening when Allen led by five at 7-2 
Alan had a chance at the start of this one, missed the red into the left corner, and Trump took his chance. 76. The Trump 76 what a performance the from Judd Trump. And what a finale we have in store now. Trump has come roaring back from 7-2 down to take this match the distance. It's nine frames all. They might not have expected to still be here when Alan won the first of the night to lead by five. Alan trying to summon the blood here for this one-frame shootout to determine the World Grand Prix champion for 2023. There's the handshake. What a match. And it's Judd Trump who will get us underway. Some Thank of the break-offs in this frame. match have not Judd been Trump's the best from either player. Trump could really do with a good one now. Trump, remember, looking to tie Mark Williams in joint fifth place in the all-time list of ranking event winners with 24. If Mark Allen wins, it will be his ninth, and that would put him level with the likes of Peter Ebden, John Parrott, and his good friend, Sean Murphy. There's bags of pressure, of course, now on both of these players. For Mark Allen, it would be a tough loss from where he was earlier tonight. But equally for Judd Trump, having come so far what? from a seemingly hopeless position, it would be tough to lose at the last hurdle. But he's in first with that thin cut on the red. It's not the worst kiss in the world. He's got an angle on the brown to get back to the sharp end of the table. Just sizing up his options with his next red. Is he a little bit short of pace? He is. Maybe just a little bit of tension in the arm there. Wanted to run another few inches further down the table. Looks as though the red does pass the black. And if he could get the black in play into both corner pockets early in this break, he would be in business. But this needs some potting with the rest. Yeah, good pot, but no position. And now the added problem of having pushed that red over the corner, which he's got to hide, so that Mark Allen can't get to it. Six. Disappointment etched on Judd Trump's face. It was a good pot. But not the result he was hoping for. That red is a serious irritant now for Trump because obviously he can't leave it for Allen. No wonder he's weighing up his options here.
still cursing his misfortune in not being able to get on a colour from that good pot with the rest on the red. Good Thompson's. Has he covered it with the blue? He has. Full ball. Good shot. Sat out the last frame after missing the early opportunity with the red to this left corner. Going cushion first. And he's got it. Oh, hang on. Well, it was well played. But the cue ball is not in an inviting spot. Had to disturb the red, of course, so that Trump couldn't get to it. He's done better than that. He's potted it, but... A long way from A1 position. Terrific pot, really, really good from Mark Allen. We talked about his metal, his bottle, call it whatever you want. Eight. He's always had plenty of that. And that was gutsy because he was leaving a red. Had he missed it, terrific pot under pressure. But he's missed the red. <laughs> Mark he's Allen. missed the Eight. red. After such a great black. Has he left anything though? You have to put that down to the pressure at the moment. Didn't get close to it. But it looks like Trump only has a safety, which is the consolation for Mark Allen. Now, can Judd Trump 
swing the cue ball around the back of the black and the reds in trying to pop this red into the right corner to give himself some sort of chance. Yeah. And he's played position. One. So Trump back in. You cannot underestimate Four. the degree of pressure now on the shoulders of these two players. Every pot so much harder than it would normally be in a conventional frame. This is for the title. It's all on the line here. But of course, they've both been in Five. these situations countless times before. Doesn't make it any easier. But Trump is the man in possession right now. <laughs> Trump's turn to miss one. Eleven. Happily for him, the cue ball hasn't come as far as he intended it to for his next red. Anything's missable under this pressure. Well, that looks dead set to the pocket, all right. What a moment this is in the final frame. Watch all pockets here. And it goes. Is he on the black, though? Is he on the black? No, he's not. What? <laughs> Unbelievable. For a moment, Trump thought he was in business there, but the red has scuppered him. To the great relief, I'm sure, of Mark Allen. Rainbow. The Trump one.
Well, the Blacks out in play again, and that's a good result for Judd Trump. He's got Mark Allen snookered on all reds by the looks of it. Well, there are a couple of reds that are potable for Trump, but the pressure that they carry is extreme and an error at this stage could prove fatal. He went for it. He's not got it. And now Mark Allen has a chance himself. Pretty inviting table if he can get in here. Oh, he's undercut it. He's undercut it. And again, you have to say that is down to the pressure of the situation. Missed it by quite a way. What a chance now for Judd Trump. Both feeling it big time. They both had chances in this decider. Mark Allen undercut the red just now. Trump is in disbelief that he's let that chance slip. Will he get another one? That's the question. Mark Allen would have feared the worst when he one. missed that red. Granted an immediate reprieve. What an opportunity now for him to get over the line. The pockets will appear minute at the moment. Such is the pressure. Eight. And they both felt it in this final frame. Judd Trump has played quite superbly to get himself into a position where he could win this final, which seemed highly unlikely at 7-2 down. 17. 
but that's going to be of no consolation at all if he now loses this frame, particularly given the chance he just had before missing the yellow. Equally, Mark Allen must have been sitting in his chair thinking, I've blown a five-frame lead here. It's when he missed the red to the yellow pocket. He's surely not going to get a better chance than this to claim the title. Nineteen in front. Thirty. These open reds with blacks will be more than enough. Thirty one. Well, he hasn't played that quite as well as he might have done. A bit closer to the cushion than he would have liked, but should be OK. Thirty-nine. Judd Trump fearing the worst now. 28 behind. This black... And the final red, and the title is Mark Allen's. He grimaces because he would have liked an easier red than this to clinch 46. the match, but the pressure's off to some extent because the most Judd Trump can do is now tie the frame. Allen can knock this in. It's surely all over. He's done it. 47. What a final. What a match these two have put on. Takes two to make a great match. And Judd Trump produced some fantastic snooker from 7-2 down to force a deciding frame. And he had a great chance in this decider after Mark Allen had missed a red. 52. To the yellow pocket. Trump in turn... Missing the yellow. He can't believe it. Having played so well to get himself into a deciding frame, he will be desperately disappointed. Mark Allen, 52. Judd Trump offers his hand. Mark Allen becomes only the 10th player in snooker history to win three ranking titles in a single season. He holds off a wonderful fight back from Judd Trump to win a nerve-jangling decider and become World Grand Prix champion for 2023, his third title. And now, snooker fans, we welcome to collect his trophy and £100,000. Please show your appreciation, your 2023 Jewel Bits World Grand Prix champion. It's the Pistol Mark Allen! <laughs> which, by the way, takes his ranking points tally for this season to more than half a million points. That is extraordinary. It's a measure of his consistency. His third title in his fourth final, Mark Allen, World Grand Prix champion.